Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. It's episode 87. We missed Elliot's birthday yesterday, but it's not the end of the world. We got a Saturday, Sunday coming up. Uh, it's a breezy, cool day in the fall. And it's going to be another breezy day tomorrow, and it's going to rain on Fern Island. Uh, well, it's called the Fern Islands Region. But there's a different name for the island, and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Anyway. How exciting is it that we now have access to the island? Um, wait, wait, wait. I want telephone. Call Robin. I want to know what it takes to build a silo. And we're going to do that today, I think. Hey, it's Robin. Open 9 to 5. Check building upgrade costs. 150 wood, 50 stone, and 4 cloth. Let's get it. Where's my wifey poo? Clint sent me a copper bar. Uh, Gus wants a lobster. We can do that. She's working on her statue. How about that? Uh, oh. It's like, where did the bait go? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay, don't look at her work in progress there. Like you're kind of doing it in broad daylight. If you don't want me to see it, maybe... Ooh, look. We got spicy eel from our... Uh... What's it called? Lava eel. That's... So they finally populated enough to where... Now, this is going to be kind of annoying that I've got to go up and around like that, but that shrine is well worth it. <laughs> ah, love it! Alright. So, anyway. Uh, oh, it is... So, Gus wants a lobster. It's ancient fruit day. Right? Yeah. So, it's going to be a busy day today. So, we probably won't get the... Um, What's it called, done? Um, the Monster Musk trip to the mines. I think we'll postpone and wait to do that until we can do a longer day up there. But with the ancient fruit harvest and then having to start the wine and stuff, it's just going to take a while to get off the farm. So, it'll be another good payday, though, because um, I, well, I guess maybe it won't. I'm not really selling any of the ancient fruit, uh, but I could if I wanted to. So, Gus wants a lobster. Um, we need to go, what else do we need to do today? Hey, our, uh, animals can finally go outside. It's been a while since they've seen the light of day. Can you put windows in? Well, I guess they have windows already. Come on out and enjoy this beautiful fall day. Don't eat too much grass, though. We're getting a little bit thin on that. I don't know why I didn't get any more grass the last several days. With uh, without them eating out there, you would think it, that it would have spread a lot more over in the coop or the uh, barn area, but it didn't at all. That's messed up. Ooh, look, our flowers are starting to creep up. So my problem is that. I'm not sure that I'll be able to see when they are um, completely done. And I might end up picking them by accident, or picking one of them by accident. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. Because <laughs> if I try to water it, and it's full grown, it'll just pick it. So that's no bueno. So, I gotta think about, if I do more fish ponds, like, what do I want to put into said fish ponds? 
Um, I have an idea. The problem is, it's a fish that I don't have yet. So, I don't know if we will be able to do it. So, we'll see. I'm thinking Stingray. I haven't caught a Stingray yet. And I can't because of where I have to get to to actually hook it. And I'm not even sure how quickly I'll be able to get to that place. So... Alright, we can grab all of this stuff. Tomorrow is Desert Exchange Day. So that's exciting. Okay, you guys go in there. You go in there. Um, nope. I don't think I have anything else that I really want to stash in here. Maybe batteries we'll stash some of. Let's keep half of them. Oh, uh, I can do this. Boom, boom. Right? All right, let's go to the other side. Wait, I don't have enough to smelt. I don't have any coal, do I? Yeah, I don't have any coal. So we got to get some coal. So that's kind of troublesome. Oh, man, we got... Ancient, we got mixed seeds instead of ancient fruit. So... I guess just put all of that stuff in there, right? Um... Yeah, for now, that's the plan. Milk. Boom. Where's my other milk? Here it is. Eggs. Boom, 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 boom. Don't have any wool. You can go in there. And you can go in there. Alright, is that it in terms of what I need to do in this side? I think it is. Let's go back over to the other side. I did forget one thing over there. Technically two things. So selling, 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 keeping. But they go on the other side. So... Boom, boom. Now let's go. Wait, Willy wants a lobster. What else was I going to do? Oh, oh, oh. Um, 150 wood. Right? 50 stone. Right? And... 4 cloth. Okay. Now let's go. Wait, did I, I didn't get the lobster. That was like the whole reason I came back here. Then I got distracted remembering something else that I needed. All right, now let's go. So Robins, Gus's. I suppose I can go mining after that. Boom, 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 boom. So, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll go up to Robin's first. We'll go ahead... I mean, I'll be up there by, like... I could be in the mines by about 2 o'clock. And if I drop some monster musk and go on into the upper levels... I've got another monster musk that I'll almost never need. Um, I mean, I might use it if I need to do another slime-killing expedition... But I don't have a lot of reason to use Monster Musk other than scenarios like this where I'm doing it for an accomplishment. So somewhere down the road I might need to maybe make another batch, which would kind of stink. If I get like a quest where it's like, hey, kill a whole bunch of whatevers, and it's like, ooh, I might need some help with that. Anyway. Alright, so, construct a farm building. Silo. Now, where do we want to put this is a question worth thinking about. I mean, I could put it right here. I don't really have a, any... Like, I never go up there. 
I think I just put it right here. It'll look nice. Why not? It's never going to get used. It's solely for aesthetics. I might use it just to demonstrate how it gets used. But to me, it's not super valuable. Unless you're somebody that likes to cook a ton, it's not very valuable. Um... So we need to get to Gus's before he closes. But that's pretty much the only thing left on our to-do list for today. Actually, let's go over here. I want to see what our slime count is. I'm not super concerned about doing the monster musk to the point where, like, it's already after 2 o'clock. I don't know that it's a good use of it. If I was here by, like, noon, I'd feel better about it. Yeah, we still need 400. Holy moly, that's a ton. Yeah, I think I'm going to use it. <laughs> I know I've gone back and forth like seven times. That's final decision. It is decided. So, you guys go in there. And now... You just go like that. And now, we're going to go like to these upper levels. And there should be a bunch of monsters. Now, the good thing about this is that um, the monster should help me get um, ladder drops. Okay, where are all the monsters, guys? Like, it is on, right? I got 10 minutes of this, and so far, it's, like, completely ineffective. Well, this is frustrating. <laughs> I was expecting there to be, like, swarms of them. I mean, I could maybe go a little bit lower, but I don't really want to go deep. I want to stay in these upper levels where I get a bunch of green slimes. I don't care about those flying bugs at all. Oh, come on with this. Where are they all? There's a few. Now we're talking. I'm going to have to do several of these runs. Now, here we go. These are the floors that I need. I love when you get multiples with one swing. Hey, come on. Hey. Yeah. That was a bunch. Wait. Oh, is there a Dougie in here? There it is. Bunch of monsters slayed right there. Keep them coming. with this. Alright, there's gotta be a... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a dude in there. And in there. Yeah. Bring on the green slimes, though. I don't want these other bugs. They don't help me in this quest. Uh, let's just go. Yeah. Wait, I heard a dude dig in there. I don't like when the slimes jump at you from so far away. You don't have really a, a you don't really have a chance to defend yourself. All right, seriously. Now, where is the ladder? There it is. Oh my gosh, hit the rock. Oh, there's a ladder. Another ladder. A jade. I probably need to go back up. Yeah. I'm going to go back up. And... How's my inventory? It's fine. I'm going to dump some stuff off, though. 
I don't need any of this stuff, so we'll just throw it in there. It's not hurting anything in that chest. But it makes sure that I don't run into in any inventory issues. Aha! I got him that time. Oh, come on. The ladder. Hang on. Okay. Keep an eye on that time. It's 740. I just need to get to Gus's before he closes. Which I think is like 11. Maybe even later. I'm not sure. But that's what we'll shoot for is 11. Hello, slimes. Goodbye, slimes. Let's grab that quartz. That's a fifth of a bomb right there. Come on. Where are the slimes? Oh my gosh. No slimes. There's one. I wonder how many we got so far. Like we're putting a little bit of a dent in this number, but this hasn't been as productive as I hope. Ooh, here we go. Heck yeah. Oh, yes! Get some! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's awesome. So many slimes. Oh, come on. You gonna tell me there's more in here? Holy crap! Oh, there's a slime up here. I was like... Wait, how? Jeez. There were four in that little patch of dirt. I'm going back out. Uh, let's go one more floor. It's 10-10. We got to go. Um, yikes. Okay, so grab that. Can we grab everything? Nope. So you stay behind. Uh, you stay behind. Well, um, bring the fiber. Actually, no, go like this. Boom. <laughs> I don't care about the mixed seeds at all, but we can get them next time. Wait, wait no, no, no. I don't know if we're going to make it to the to the saloon in time. Hurry up! Gus! It's me! I'm on my way! Don't close! I was busy killing slimes! And now we have a cutscene. Abigail's hanging out in the cemetery with a lantern and a sword. Like, and why are you laughing at me? Uh, yeah, I am. Are you out here LARPing by yourself at night? Best place in the town to find some privacy. Yeah. Practicing swordsmanship. Cool. Well, you think I'm too, too weak to swing a blade? So Abigail, if you marry her, like one, I think it's her 14 heart cutscene maybe that she goes into the mines with you for an adventure. And there's drama. Whatever. You've, you've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, and it's exciting. Yes, but only in self-defense. Yeah, we're going to say that. Sure, I don't want to kill anything either. I was just, you know, wanting to do some exploring. Be able to defend myself. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail! So wh where is Pierre here? Dad? He was standing right there the whole time. You didn't see your dad standing. I was standing here when I walked in. He was standing right there. How did you not see it? Maybe there's a bush on the other side of this tree that we can't see, and he was hiding behind the bush. 
No place for a young lady. Speaking of Pierre, I need to go into his place one of these days. I think there's a cutscene that we're due for. So. Let's get out of here, Evan. So that was awkward. I'm pulsating a, like, radiant glow here of some sort. And I smell awful to the point where monsters are attracted to me. Like, nobody else smells that. <laughs> so, can you believe my, my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. All right. <clears throat> so... Holy crap, that's enough. Abigail, I gotta go. I need, I gotta get to Gus's and give him a lobster. What is she doing? 10.30. If he closes at 10, obviously, we missed it. But I think he closes at 11 or maybe even later. But we are definitely cutting it close. Whoo, baby. We made it, and everyone's leaving. There you go. Oh, thank, take care of my friend. 500 bucks. Try and say hi to everyone while we're here. Hello. Ham's unconscious. Blackout drunk. Good job, Gus. You're getting the bus driver blackout drunk. On a regular basis, by the way. Like, she becomes unresponsive oh my gosh just talk to her pretty frequently all right uh let's check the help wanted ad here nope not the calendar clint seriously dude with the, the copper ore requests it was 35 the other day i didn't even try to do it now you want 40 like come on man you gotta be realistic I have better things to do. Although, how much did I get today? I got 37 today. If I would have cut through town that way and accepted that quest, we would have pretty much done it today. So, oops. All right, boom, 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 boom. Bam. Whoop. That was pretty good. Uh, and then... Boom, 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 boom. And then Blackberry. So I don't think I need the Rusty Cog. Let's go look just to make sure. Yeah, so we can sell all of that stuff, right? Yep, let's do it. Yeah. Oh man, look at all the look at all of the wine. I'm gonna let the wine get on cycle. I just don't like having it be off like that. So I know that that's you know a lot of money sitting there that is just gonna continue to sit there, but it'll help us in the long run if we only have to do it like once a week. What am I doing, guys? <laughs> you go in there. I need to keep the refined quartz. Everything else we can sell. I gotta go close the barn and coop, and it is getting late. Yikes. Oh, wait. How did that get closed already? Did I never let them out? Those poor chickens i was like wait a minute how is it closed already and it's because i never opened it for them i am a terrible owner it's 110 i've got time to drop these uh truffles off so we're gonna do it you guys go in there and then we go boom 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 all right. Holy smokes, we're cutting it close. Where did I get that one piece of wood from? Where did that come from? Oh, from the recycle machine. Okay. 
Sorry, Dubs, you're going to have to find your way back to the stable. i got to get to bed before I pass out. All right. <clears throat> I could have made it, but it's okay. So, what to do today? It is Sunday, so we want to go to the Desert Trader and exchange all of our jade. Um, and it should be a decent amount of jade, honestly. So that's cool. Nothing else on the calendar. So that's cool. In weather... Wait, it's a good luck day today. In weather, sunny and raining on the island again. Fruit salad we learned how to make. There you go. Alright, my wife is not in here that I can see. Distracted. Uh, don't give her that. Hey, buddy. She watered the crops for me. That gets you a piece of cheese. <laughs> I wasn't going to give her a gift, but it's like, ooh, water the crops? Heck yeah. Thank you. Alright, so I might not need to water any crops. So that's awesome. Um, but what do I need to do today? Outside of going to the desert. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go sell mushrooms. Boom, boom, boom. And a cockle. Nothing to do in the greenhouse today. Or in these fields. We got a snail. Pretty sure I need to save that one. So, desert, um, honestly, I don't really have all that much else on the immediate to-do list. Maybe we take a quick trip to the island, um, but I'm not sure that I'm feeling it because it's not going to be super productive okay so it looks like she watered all of those crops where is bing cat there he is say hi to you and now back down here i assume she watered these as well but we'll make sure and now go in here boom boom nope boom boom Uh, you come with me. Oh my gosh. Give me those two truffles from yesterday. Grab that. You go in there. Now, I don't have any more recyclables, do I? Nope. So, keep... Uh, keep, keep, sell, sell. All right. <clears throat> so I know I've got a snail that I need to save. Boom. You I need to save. You I need to save. And you I need to save. I don't have enough coal. Oh, I do have enough to do one batch, but then I'd be out. I don't want to do that. So let's grab you, you, and you. 84 jade. Heck yeah. It's a jade empire. Uh, wait. Sell, 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 sell. Any ideas what we should do after the desert trip, guys? Come on, Pam, hurry up. I'm going to cut down an entire tree and collect all of the logs and other random bits and pieces of it before you make it that far. Like 
think about that. Hey, 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 hey. Yes. Putting her to work right away. You're if you start work at ten, you better be ready you better be ready. oh, I forgot tappers. Um I need two more, right? Now the one tree I don't think was ready yet. So one Yeah, that tree right there needs one. And that tree right there. So I'm going to spend the 500 bucks and make another trip up here. So let's go. Oh, man. Well, there's a bunch of stuff that I forgot, honestly. So we definitely need to make another trip because this one was not... Uh, as efficient as I needed it to be because I forgot several things. <laughs> so, alright, Pam. Drive me back to the homestead or to the bus stop. I'm going to make one quick run back to the homestead and then I'll be right back for you to take me back to the desert a second time. She's like, would you make up your mind, kid? Holy smokes. What you... Out of your mind? Alright. So, the things that we forgot are, uh, and this list is not, you know, 100% guaranteed to be complete, but, uh, here we go. So, you guys, uh, actually, you stay with me, and I'll deal with you in a second. Boom, boom. And then, uh, what am I down here for? The plum. The plum goes in there. We grab the jades and we get, what is this, seven more jades? Seven more staircases. That's what I'm talking about. Now, oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. Uh, let's grab those. Getting a bunch of geodes saved up, so that's cool. All right, now let's go. So we'll head down to Clint's today and have him bust open those geodes. Just something to do, you know? All right, here we go. Back to the desert. So we'll put the tappers in, swing over to the uh, traveling cart lady and get our, actually, we'll go jades for staircases, tappers, and then up to our chest in the uh, cavern entrance foyer, I guess we'll call it. So, thank you very much, me lady. And now for the tappers, there was one there, and one there. Okay. That's that. And then boom, boom, and boom, and boom. So we now have 500 bombs, 142 staircases. That's good enough for a, a good Skull Cavern run. Because I can zip down at least 100 floors before I start collecting anything. And by that point, you're getting a bunch of Iridium nodes. 200 is better. 300 is even better but it's not so much better that it's worth the extra hundred staircases in my opinion uh, and we've got 20 spicy eel which is plenty as well so all right into town we'll head to Clint's um, it's funny like I have no problem cutting down the palm trees I don't want to cut down those other ones because I've got to replant those. Palm trees, I don't. They grow on their own. There's, is that one there? Full grown? Looks to be. You know, I'm taking the time to do this because we don't really have a whole lot else going on today. So we're not in any hurry at this point. But we should start considering being prepared for another Skull Cavern run. We're... we're we're there. 
140 is solid. So if it happens this week on a day that's not a festival day, we need to be prepared for it. So. Not even, like, mentally prepared for it. I'm talking, like, prepared with our inventory situation the night before. So that we wake up and we can just freaking go. Hey! How's that sword work coming along? Swordsmanship sword work. Willie wants three largemouth bass. Now, cutscene? Yeah! Here we go. Gus, I have just the thing for you. So, I think this is from when I did the gold vegetable um, special order. He's like, Gus is like, I'm all ears. It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom veggies. These are hand-picked and sorted to ensure only the finest quality and taste. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. We're talking about vegetables, right? That sounds pretty good. I could use some quality vegetables for the saloon. How much does it cost? And Pierre jumps. Like only... Uh, I'm sorry? What was that? Uh, <laughs> for a moment there, I thought I heard of twenty-five thousand dollars. And Pierre's like, yeah, "That's right. I mean, it's really a bargain, isn't it?" <laughs> right, right, guys. Twenty-five thousand for vegetables. Pierre, are you a crazy? There's no way I can afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. He's out of here. Jody's like, I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. Especially considering I gave him those vegetables for 25 So he's trying to turn a 10x profit. Like, come on, man. How about the uh, 10,000? They're like, no way. Boycott Pierre's. Let's go to Jojo Mart. It's a disaster, Evan. I thought this was a surefire business strategy. Like, what? Even if I put the little organic sticker on him, no, 10x is ridiculous. Um, I'm offended that they didn't want my veggies. <laughs> you win some, lose some. Uh, we're gonna go with you should be less greedy. Yeah. Hey, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it. If they don't like the price, they can move on. And they will move on. So, fine. I guess you have a point. If I make all my customers angry, then pretty soon I won't have any customers at all. Yeah? I mean, Jojo Mart's over there selling stuff at, like, rock-bottom discounts. You look like you could use a veggie dinner tonight. Pierre, dude, we just had this conversation. So he wants me to buy them back for one more than I sold it to him for. Wait, was that it? I thought he ended up actually like selling them back to me so that then I could put them into the shipping bin if I wanted to. Whatever. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, Clint's. And then I'm honestly not sure what we're going to do after, after going to Clint's place. We might go... Um, we might have to make a quick trip to the museum if we get something we can drop off. Uh, maybe go cut some trees and cinder sap. Oh, we need to upgrade our tools, guys. Need some iridium for it, though. How about another uh, dwarf gadget so that we can donate one? I don't need copper. Or clay. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Or clay. Earth crystal. Stone. That was kind of a bust. Another piece of clay. Well, that was not very fruitful, but it's okay. You know, I'm not seeing a lot, and 
I'm not always looking for it, but when I do, I very rarely see the sparklies for copper panning. You know what I mean? Or for, for panning with my copper pan. We're not panning for copper. That would be something that you would call copper panning. Whoa, Penny's down here having a picnic with the kiddos. These cookies are like off the blanket. Ants are going to get them. Oh, Evan, it's perfect timing that you showed up. It is? What is this? Are these like sliced to fresh sliced tomatoes or what's going on there? We're having a little field trip. Yeah, I know all about the country life. I'd love to be your guest speaker. Sh uh, no, I can't stand kids. Uh, sure, I'd love to. Great! We just call the children over. Kids, get over here! <laughs> Why did she, like, scream there? They're standing, like, ten feet away. Jazz, you just play. Hey, Jazz, Vincent, come on over here. Why are you screaming? That's how that's how they reacted. And they ran over, like, Yes, ma'am, Penny, we are here. Like, is she really mean to them and just nobody ever gets to see it? I have a very special guest here to talk to, to you today. Our very own local farmer, Evan. Blah, be, blah, be, blah, natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Oh, 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 oh. Jazz. A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very, Vincent's like, you are such a teacher's pet. Like, it's stuff that you find in the ground and whatnot. <laughs> and you can use it for other stuff. It's resources that you find in nature. All right, now let's give Evan our full attention. Country life is all about farming. It's about both of these things. We're gonna say farming. Sure. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. Sure. It's not. I live on a beach. <laughs> yes, Vincent? Um, Farmer Evan, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up strong like my big brother Sam? He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. Scandal. Ha <laughs> ha! Busted! Vincent, it's not good to gossip. Vincent's like, I wasn't even gossiping. I was just telling him what I saw. What? I'm confused. Hey, yeah, go play on this bridge here above this. I don't even know how deep this water is. Either the water is deep enough that they could hypothetically drown, or it's shallow enough that they could fall off and, like, hurt themselves, landing funny and... I mean, come on now. Anyway. All right, let's get this over with. I got wood. Oh. Would you ever want to be a parent? Absolutely. Uh, I guess so. It's a natural urge. I'm not going to say that I want a big family. We're just going to go with this one. Yes, the urge to care for something innocent and helpless. It makes sense that we feel that. Okay. Good talk. Alright, so we're going to, um... we got plenty of time. It's only like 3 o'clock, isn't it? Thanks, Mr. Evan! Hey, I got a place that you can go practice your swordsmanship. It's called the Secret Woods. I guess I already talked to her because it won't let me do it again. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? Missing any statues? Ha ha ha! Sam, you just missed Penny. I know why you were out here. You and Penny were going to sneak off into the Secret Woods. Jazz, Penny, why don't you go over there and play in the water? We'll be back in a little bit. I'm just We're going to go look for squirrels. <laughs> all right so we'll get these trees i guess um then we'll swing back get on the horse we'll swing back up to the secret woods and um and then head home we'll need to craft a couple of kegs at home five to be exact and then I don't want to put anything in them yet, though. 
because I want to wait so that we can do all of our wine at the same time. You know? I'm wondering how much wood I'm going to need for the remainder of this playthrough, honestly. Um, I feel like we're kind of... Probably close to having as much as we'll ever need. Now we do need we do need to still make a bunch of kegs. Um, there's stuff that we will need it for, so I'm not saying that this is wasted time. I'm just saying like in the very near future, I think we won't need as much as we've got, but we'll need a bunch for decorating. Actually, now that I think about it, because I will eventually. Let's actually check and see if she's got anything cool. Probably not, but never hurts to look. Yeah. Completely useless. <clears throat> All right. I'm really here for two reasons. One, the hardwood, and then two, Slay some slimes. Death! Death! Remember when we didn't have the galaxy sword? Oh my goodness, is it it's just so awesome. We'd be in here for like 10 minutes, just swing, 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 trying to kill the guy, and he'd just keep bouncing back. And... So it's just nice to have the good weapons. I, a, a lot of times, like for just, oh, holy man, that guy's moving fast. Um, if I'm just looking for like something to do to kill time or whatever, and I'm just getting an itch to play Stardew and do like a, you know, a playthrough on the side or whatever, it's totally normal for me to start the playthrough and just give myself all Iridium tools and the Galaxy Sword using the save editor. I know it's cheap or whatever. It just makes the early part of the game go faster. Um, and you don't have to spend as much time in the mines, which is one of my least favorite um, activities if I had to pick one. Just gonna thin this out just a wee bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and cl close you. So we got four more truffles today, not bad. Oh, wait, make it five. And now I gotta figure out what to do in this area. I've got nothing guys it's gonna have to be some sort of like creative concept where i'm kind of decorating more than anything else let's go like that actually um is there anything else in here that where'd it go All right, now, oh, well, I gotta go back over there in a second anyway, but first, boom, 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 uh, cloth, limestone, yes, Granite, yes. Cell. I feel like I'm keeping keeping cactus fruit, but I really don't know why. I don't need it for anything. Do I? It might be a currency on the island, now that I think about it. So we'll hang on to it. Uh, boom. 
and then we're selling the rest of that stuff. So, boom, boom. Kegs. I don't like the layout of this space, but like I need to decide like what am I doing over here? I I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the cheese makers over here, and so I've got six spaces and I've got five of those. I think I'll just put like another preserves jar and then. Um, yeah, so I've got, yeah, I'll just add a preserves jar. We'll have to move some stuff around to make it look nice, but I like what we've got going on there. It'll work. Um, I might consider maybe doing additional tea leaf bushes over there, but I don't necessarily need to. So we'll figure it out. So, sell, 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 sell. I need to go fishing and get rid of the wild bait. Let's just do that. That's how we'll wrap up the episode. Oh my gosh, get off. I know it's kind of a waste of the wild bait, but... Because, like, I just got seaweed. And more seaweed. I just don't like carrying around regular bait in a slot. It's kind of a waste. Come on, at least give me some fish. <laughs> Seaweed, I am i mean, probably anything that I catch here, I'm just throwing into the shipping bin before we go to bed. On, double it up. Double, for, double or nothing. Nope. Rats. So, what do we got? Three left. One. Wow, more seaweed. More seaweed. Last one. Wow. That was ridiculous. The odds of that, honestly, are not very good, I don't think. Six out of seven, you get seaweed. I mean, come on. All right, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below, and we will see you all next time. Thank you.